All right, so you managed to convince everyone and their dog to buy an electric scooter. And you came to a point where one is so new, so brand new, that um, it can actually be flashed. So that is a big ass issue. And I'll show you guys what I mean. And so this is Thomas's 1S, you can rename it. And uh, I'll show you guys what I mean. So it will complain that we're flashing a pro firmware. These are the parameters I'm running. And so at the end, you'll have a button to press unlock. It doesn't do anything, but it still stays on 3.2.1. And trust me, I tried everything. And so the problem is this. All right, so a lot of time has passed. <clears throat> In the end, solution was actually swapping over the uh, dashboard to a fake one. So this is some random, I mean, I don't know. I have two of them, uh, two of these. Uh, one is fake, one is not. The fake one actually worked, surprisingly enough. Uh, so it had a BLE version of 9.10 or something. And actually I could connect to it with scooter hacking, not with down G, uh, but I generated another firmware, same procedure, uh, just outputted it to scooter hacking. So again, props to the scooter hacking team for, I suppose, a more robust app. Down G would connect to it, but wouldn't let you open a bin. So that didn't really work. And so with this, aftermarket dashboard i could actually flash my custom firmware to this controller um i'll make a separate video uh, using the st link because that's also pretty important but with the st link i only managed to flash drive versions 134 221 and 223 but those were stock versions the latter of the two or even German versions, which cap at 20 per hour. So I wanted my stock firmware with zero per hour torque, uh, that kind of deal. <sighs> yeah, so unfortunately, unless you buy one of these, maybe you have a friend and you could genuinely just use their dashboard for five minutes and then give it back, right? It is a pain in the ass, you need to take off the cover, um, just with your fingernails, you should be able to unstick it. It's glued down, has um, these three screws holding down the board and um, this little grommet with a zip tie holding all the connections so they're uh, protected from uh, drops of water and, and whatnot. So anyway, don't forget to put the grommet back on with the zip tie. I'm gonna put that back on. That has a very weird BLE version. I'll uh, take a little snip of that and probably put it in over here. Um, apart from that, I don't know. If anything new happens in this space, I'll uh, put it in the comments, a pinned comment or something. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will no longer be needed soon, but at the moment, this is how you can get off of drive version 321. So yeah, just to prove um, let me actually quickly install it. All right, so BLE version is 157 and I couldn't for the hell of me manage to flash any other BLE with the scooter hacking app. Neither did I manage to flash any ESC version with this particular dashboard, right? So I think this is the offending factor in all of this, but yeah. All right, and so modes work, everything works, button works, uh, flash headlight works. And let's zoom out ever so slightly and do a quick, quick, quick demo. 
And so zero kilometers per hour before torque would mean we don't have to push it. So let's see. Okay. And 29 means it's definitely not the stock for me. Alright, so that's been it. If you guys have any tips, comments, or questions, let me know. Otherwise, that's been it for my side. <sighs> I'm gonna die.